Hello, everybody. Hey, it's Ken Faulkner. And uh, it's the weekend. I get to have some time to make some videos. I'm, um, you know, I'm not uh, any kind of professional at making things. Uh, I got into this because uh, somebody challenged me to do it just for a one-off. Just say, hey, just do one. And uh, I did one, and I had a good time with it. And uh, you guys are great as far as the responses and things like that. So you drew me in. You got me going on this stuff. Uh, and I'm happy as heck that you did. And um, today I got a knife uh, to show you. And uh, I'm going to tell you wh what I think about it. Um, my collection is uh, is kind of personal as everybody's collection is. You decide to buy knives for certain reasons. And uh, this one I bought because it was a custom knife. And you hear about custom knives, and I've always drooled over custom knives. But, you know, usually these things are so expensive. And, um, and this one isn't cheap. I mean, uh, it's, it's out of a lot of people's price ranges. But uh, it's in my price range, and that's what's important to me, you know. And, uh, so yeah, I, I picked this guy up and it's, uh, it's a pretty cool little knife. Um, it's, uh, not well known. I did not know anything about this company before I got this knife, uh, other than what I heard from, uh, the guy I bought it from. And it is from a company called Chalette Knives. Now I bought this secondhand. You can see that the card's a little worse for wear. But you can see some information about uh, the company. This guy, and I've read up. You can look online. He's got Instagram. He's got Facebook. Uh, that's where you get probably more information about him. But he's a uh, a knife maker in Texas. And you can see in the picture he's got a firearm there. But that's uh, because he is a police officer. And that is um, what his job, as far as I know, is still his full-time job. Uh, but he uh, decided to make a knife um, because of the fact that he wanted a, a boot knife and, and it wasn't one there wasn't one that met his um, what he was looking for. So he made his own. And you, st you hear stories about that with like little makers, um, you know, over the years I've, I've heard it over and over again where people just say, hey, I think I could make something better or I just want to make something for myself. And uh, clearly... He's done well. I mean, he's not a, maybe not one of the bigger, bigger names out there, but you can see um, that his stuff has been sold. Uh, Knife Joy, I think, um, a couple other places. If you go online, so uh, he obviously does know what he's doing. Uh, this is the card um, for it, uh, V1. That's the model number. Uh, this steel PSF. 27. I am not familiar with it. Um, I didn't really look it up, but um, I, th I believe it's a, a good steal. It's probably something that is not made so much. Probably the reason why I haven't heard of it is because it's not made by the people who are making, you know, large quantities of knives. Uh, maybe it's just a cost thing or, or whatever. Um, don't know. I should have probably looked up some more on that. Uh, the scale handle material is G10. I don't know what that heat treat means. It looks like self with envy. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I can't read it. Uh, I'm sure it makes sense to the guy who uh, who makes it, and maybe it makes sense to somebody who knows something about heat treating. Uh, and then the price here was three hundred fifty dollars, which for a, for a custom knife, um, for anybody that is you know well known at all, that's a pretty good price. So. Anyway, Chalette Knives, this is it, the V1. So, yeah, it's a, it's a different kind of knife. I have no idea when they were made. I tried to look for, I did find on, I think it was on Facebook, some photos of this knife. Um, he is a custom maker, so I don't know what kind of quantities he made, but they're all made by hand and one at a time. And you can see the uh, his uh, mark there. Chalette knives, nice looking knife. I love I love a clip point. 
Um, it's got, it looks like an acid wash to me. Um, and that, that of course, um, really hides any scratches or anything like that. It's a very nice looking uh, finish on there. Um, the edge is, is pretty much a mirror edge. And um, there's the blade steel right there. And it's got these uh, cool little thumb shapes. I don't know if you're going to call them. It's not a disc. It's not a thumb stud in the traditional, you know, traditional thumb stud. It's got a screw holding it on, so that's kind of an interesting feature. So obviously, uh, you could you could take that off if you wanted to. Um, although that is the only mode of deployment. So you need to have something there to to get that that opening. Now, um, the one thing I would say about this knife, um, and I don't like to be critical about people that go out and make their knives, um, maybe companies that are mass producing, but people are, who are custom makers, I have no idea what they are up against. Um, you know how difficult it is to to make knives. Uh, it's got great action, but the one thing I would say about it is that it um, it doesn't have the best detent in the sense of that snappiness of the detent. It can swing out like that. Now, for me, what's important, as far as that's concerned, is whether or not this thing opens up in my pocket and I end up uh, catching the, the point of the of the knife. When I'm reaching for something past uh, past the knife, never has happened with this knife, so um, that's the main thing. I mean, I do like to have that that real snap on deployment. Uh, if I throw a little wrist into it, I can get that to open up pretty easily. Um, so that would be the one thing that that I'm not as excited about this knife. But otherwise, it is very comfortable. The shape of the handle has a swell here which uh, feels really good in the hand. Nice length of the uh, the handle. It's got a little extra on the end here. Um, it's got good grippiness for the G10. Um, G10 is not that high-end material, but uh, other than the G10, we're talking titanium. Uh, I'm sure that the pivot is not titanium, and the, the blade, of course, is not titanium, but all these other pieces in here, the backspacer, the clip, all of that are made out of titanium. So there's uh, some good quality uh, materials there. Uh, it's a uh, liner lock, but uh, it's got a pretty thick liner, not one of those really thin ones. It's, uh, it may be a little bit late. I mean, like I said, I don't know how old this one is, how long it's been around. Um, and I don't know what it was like when it was brand new, but, um, I don't have any problems with it going too far uh, over. It's about 50% lockup, so it's going to hold that thing in place. It's not going to fail on you. That's nice. Um, there's something in here. Let me get, let me get a flashlight. Let's see what it says. You know, sometimes they, have, they hide little stuff. Okay. So now we know what year it was made or at least sold. It says Blade Show 2021. So we're talking two years ago. Um, in fact, when I was looking on um, Facebook or, or Instagram or something like that, he was talking about having a booth at, at one of the shows. So uh, I don't recall seeing uh, Chalette Knives at Blade Show, but um, I bought this this year. So uh, next year, if I, if I do see them, I'll definitely check them out. Um, so anyway... Chalette Knives. It's the V1. And it's a custom. Only real custom. Well, hang on a second. It is uh, the only custom from a, a maker that has a name out there. I do have another knife. You know, I thought about that when I was going to do this video. You know me. I'm always got these little side tangents. It's not shielding. It says Shielden on here, but if you have bought from Shielden before, you know that even their knives with clips, they come with uh, this case, and really, actually, it's it's a pretty heavy-duty case. Um, 
I have a knife in here that didn't come in this case, but the shielded knife has a clip, so I'm not going to keep it in the case. And I bought this knife at a blade show, um, and it was at Blade Show West, and I believe it was it had to be 2021. Um, it was when it, they had it in Long Beach. And this is a really interesting knife, and this is definitely a custom knife. Uh, because the guy that sold this to me was sitting at his table. He's like an elderly man. Um, and he had his wife next to him. You see that a lot with the blade shows. Is that sometimes you'll have like a maker and his kids there. And the, the, the kids will be watching the booth while, you know, you know, when, you know, everybody has to take a break every once in a while. Especially at a long show. And so uh, he was there with his wife, and they were just sitting there, and they had these interesting-looking knives. You look at this thing. It's just very interesting. Um, it's not perfect. You can see here little marks and things like that. And again, I'm not going to judge. You know, it's not centered. But this guy clearly handmade this stuff himself. In fact, when I was talking to him about his knives, he clearly cared a lot about them. Um and, you know, I talked to a lot of these guys just because it's fun to talk to them. And you can see the he's got a little marking on here, W.L. Ross. And I tried to look it up online, couldn't find anything about W.L. Ross knives. There's like some other companies, you know, any, almost anything you look up online, you can find something on it. But there's nothing about a guy making knives. So I have a feeling that he's just making these out of his garage or something. You can, you can see a Damascus, Damascus pattern there. It's nothing too fancy, and it doesn't look like it was like super well etched because it doesn't stand out so much. But I mean, just the fact that he's making Damascus steel for his knives, that's pretty impressive. This back lock is also very interesting. It's got a it's got a little piece of wood to match the rest of it. You can see there's some liners in here and wood handle uh covers, because this is kind of like a traditional knife but then he put the wood he bothered to take that little piece of wood and put it on his back lock in order to close the knife so I thought that was really cool um, he's got the little piece of wood in here and laid this looks like bone um, I really don't have a lot of information on this because I just talked to him but I wasn't really trying to get a lot of details about so I don't know what the steel what different steels he uses on his Damascus or anything I just like the knife and uh, just from talking to him and he wasn't getting a lot of traffic on his um, booth and he clearly was not happy with the experience. He had, he had told me that this was the first year that he had done it and he says he's not going to do it again. I don't know if his wife was trying to push him saying, you know, you got to get rid of some of these knives or what, <laughs> but uh, he seemed like a really interesting, you know, a nice guy. He had a bunch of... Uh, it looked like rabbit skins or small game of some sort out on his table. So clearly he was somebody who did some hunting and maybe he used these for skinning. And he was asking me what I was going to use the knife for. And, uh, you know, I'm just a city boy. I'm not doing a lot of hunting. He seemed kind of disappointed, but he still was willing to sell it to me. So I appreciate, appreciated that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a kind of a little quirky knife, but I think it's really cool. And it's definitely a custom so that's what I like about both these knives. That's kind of what pushed me to, to buy them. Um, and they're a great part of my collection as far as I'm concerned. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, you know, I like to share stuff with you guys. Tell you about what I got and why I did it. And probably more information than you ever wanted. But uh, there you go. There's my video. And I got some more. I got a three-day weekend. I got a, a Monday off. So hopefully I can get some more out. I've been a little bit behind because the work's been crazy. Another reason why it's good to have a three-day weekend. Uh, so I want to try to get a few more out. And I got 30 more till the next uh, 100 subs uh, up to 600 now. So maybe we'll be looking for, and I've been thinking about, a giveaway. So I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.